Hey everybody, I'm at Toy7 here today. I got a fairly quick video. I opened this box off camera, A, because I got it on Saturday and I didn't have time to make a video, and B, because it's quite a few cards to go through in a video, and the video would be um, a de fairly decent length. So I thought I'd just do a box break recap and review of the new 2018 Tops WWE trading cards. You get two hits per box, as you see the box in the background here. One autograph, um, guaranteed. Um, so uh, you get you do one autograph and either one uh, worn relic or manufactured relic or something like that. I'll show you some of the base cards. Um, they're pretty simple looking. This is like a sixty dollar box ish online. You can find it somewhere on there. But that's the gold background variation. Those are not numbered. And then here is the regular background, AJ Styles. So they have, you know, to all the current wrestlers. And I think there's even some that are like not active. Like there's a legend announcer, Mean Gene Oakland. And then there's other non-active wrestlers or uh, and there's an announcer, Alec McGinnis. Or Nigel McGinnis, sorry, not Alec McGinnis, Nigel McGinnis. Um, there's a rock who obviously is currently filming movies and stuff. So, there's a ton of uh, people in this, both active and not active, and um, other personnel. There's a general manager, William Regal, for NXT, so there's tons. And I did get one numbered card. It's, um, it's hard to tell. Without looking on the back that you know this is numbered, but it is. It's like a silver background, I guess. And it is numbered 25. It is 9 of 25. I actually didn't notice it first when I opened up the packs. And when I was going through and sorting out the, um, the cards, I noticed I had a numbered card. So be, be on the lookout for numbered cards, and I think they're kind of hard to tell. So just be sure to look at the back of um, any of your cards for the set, because it'd be hard to tell without doing that. Um, then there's this evolution subset, insert set. Shows like a bunch of pictures through a character, through a wrestler's career, the giant, although he's known as Big Joe as well. And there's another one of him, Booker T. So there's a bunch of, for many different superstars over the, over the years. Um, I think I got about two of those per pack. So they're not a hard to get uh, set. And then you also had the um, Hall of Fame Ultimate Warrior set, which um, I got uh, four of. Yes, I have four Ultimate Warrior cards for my box. I did order a blaster box as well, like I did with uh, Road to WrestleMania, um, where you're guaranteed one uh, memorabilia hit. I don't know if I'll get a relic or I get a manufactured card, manufactured memorabilia. So my um, non-auto hit was um, manufactured belt, comm commemorative medallion belt for the WWE Championship uh, with Randy Orton, WWE Champion. So pretty cool. Um, this was numbered. It's really hard to see. I don't know if I can get a good... Uh, I can't quite get it on camera, um, but it is numbered three. Of, oh, there we go. Three of twenty-five. It's hard to see, <laughs> but it is numbered to twenty-five. Pretty cool um, manufactured medallion in the shape of the WWE Championship. And my auto was an NXT um, wrestler, Kyle O'Reilly. Excuse me. Part of the Undisputed Era, which I'm a big fan of that group. Him, Adam Cole, Bobby Fish, and now, um, God, I'm forgetting the other guy's name <laughs> so bad, but um, another guy just recently joined them at the last pay-per-view. Roderick Strong um, are the Undisputed Era. They are the current tag team champs, so he's one half of the tag team champs. So very cool. Um, wrestled for quite a while over in Japan and other places before coming to WWE. And this is also number 25, 12 of 25. A nice uh, shorter print autograph, and one I definitely do not have. 
an autograph of. So I was pretty happy out of my box. Um, overall, what would I score this? Like I said, you're, you're guaranteed to get an autograph, which I love that they guarantee to get autographs in this. Um, fantastic. And there's been some nice ones on there. I saw someone pull the Stephanie McMahon, which I would have loved to pull. Um, there's tons of wrestlers. Almost everybody they have signing for these products that are active and even some that are non-active they have signed. So it's a, it's a great product to get uh, some really cool wrestling autos. And um, I think the medallions are fairly cool. I'm not, a, I've never been a huge fan of medallion cards or manufactured patches or what th those type of hits. But I mean, I will say that the commemorative medallions in the shape of titles are fairly cool looking. And if you're going to have to get one, I would, I would say that these are cooler than getting a manufactured patch, personally. But that's my opinion. Um, and I got one numbered card, which is cool, and it's a it's a really good price for what you get. They hit you, you know, it's right at the level it should be. I think it's a perfect price point for this. Um, so I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten. Uh, I didn't get one of the best autographs. There's some really there's some great ones. I don't I think Cal O'Reilly has a huge um, market for his autographs, but I'm keeping it anyway. So, I mean, if you're looking for somebody that you can resell, that would probably not be, I would guess not be one of the best ones to get, but I'm not sure. I didn't really look, I'm not even considering selling it. So it's possible it could be a decent one. Um, and the medallions, medallions usually don't have much of a resale, um, in any product. So as far as resale value goes, it's not that not a lot there, but I think as overall product, the cards look nice. It's a, you know, nice top set, fairly affordable, and you're guaranteed one autograph, and you can't ask for much more than that. So I would say 9 out of 10 for my box, and 8, eight to 9 on average. Um, so, and most, almost all the, almost all autographs are live in this, in these products, like all the, over the years. I've only got a, I bought WWE products for quite a while now, at least five, six years. Um, and they almost always have live autographs. There's some few instances where they're not and you have to do, um, you know, you have to send it or, you know, claim it online to get it. There's a Kyle O'Reilly. Um, pretty decent autograph, don't love it. It's K-O-R, <laughs> it's kind of cool, different autograph. But I like it a lot. It's like I said, it's a unique one, one I definitely don't have. So, very cool. Again, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will uh, open up my blast box live when I get it, uh, which should be coming in probably the next week or so. And um, that's it for now. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.